Hello, I'm here with Dawn from the Chamber of Commerce now, and we're here in Worcester talking about the Armed Forces Covenant celebration. Thanks for coming on with us today, Dawn. You're very welcome. So tell me a bit, what area does the Chamber cover that you're from? Right, we cover the Herefordshire and Worcestershire area, so we work across with businesses across the two counties. Fabulous, so that's plenty going on in those two, I imagine, plenty. as well. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you've uh, taken on the Armed Forces Covenant and you've signed that. When, when did you do this? We did that actually about four years ago. Wow. Um, we're actually just approaching um, our, hopefully, our gold accreditation, we're having worked through the levels. So, um, so what impact, obviously, four years, that's quite a period that you've been a part of yeah. this, then with employers still joining to this day. What yeah. impact would you say you've noticed? Uh, on the Chamber or in the community? Both. In general, both, okay. Certainly from the Chamber's point of view, it's opened out our, our knowledge and awareness of a, of a community that mm. we had sort of very little knowledge of originally. Um, and when we start signed the Covenant, obviously that um, reinforced our commitment to working with communities mm. within Herefordshire and Worcestershire. And it just made us look at our own internal policies as to what we were doing to support, um, in terms of flexible working policies, what we were doing to support members of the armed forces community, mm. whether they were reservists or cadets or, or veterans. And it's made us more aware of the, the good work that, that's done. And we just felt we needed to be part of that. Um, not, not that we um, had to, but we wanted to be part mm. of that and raise awareness of um, the armed forces community and the covenant um, to all our members you know across the two counties um, which hopefully we have done over the, over the four years i think awareness is is really important to, to focus on there because there's all this great work being done and and a lot of employers and businesses are already doing a lot of these things yes however yes. it's signing that covenant and it's an agreement to yes we are dedicated to providing this and this support as well going forward yes and i think it, it can have a snowball effect the more businesses that come on board, um, the more the awareness and the mm. information is circulated amongst the local communities and other businesses have come forward and said, well, what's it all about? Can you tell us more? And we're able to do that. And This is it. It's that snowball effect, like you say, isn't it? It grows. Yes, what yes. would you say if you were uh, talking to an employer about joining or signing up to the Covenant, what would you say yes. the benefits are of it? I think it is being part of that community. It's understanding what support um, the armed forces um, community as a whole can give to mm -hmm. people um, in, in the private sector and help employers understand the, the perhaps the obligations and the duties that, that they may have and what they can put in place in terms of additional flexible working policies which specifically help mm. uh, members of the armed forces so that might be um, additional leave for training for example it's how they're looked after in the event of a mobilization so it just really makes businesses perhaps understand how they can further help um, that, 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 that category of employees I which they might not have been doing before. Really important to have that, that shared dialect between both the employers and those from the armed forces community as well. It's really important to have that open discussion to say what support is needed, but also what support is available. Exactly. And, and, that, and that's something that certainly for ourselves, we did look internally mm. at what we were doing. And actually that was very little four years ago because it was an area I hadn't really had much mm. knowledge of. Um, and since then, I really do understand, you know, what, yeah. what, what is out there. Um, we can implement our own policies now to help members of the armed forces and obviously publicise that to other businesses and, and hopefully lead by example. That's what we're here to do today, isn't it? Thank yeah. you very much for chatting with me today, Dawn. You're very welcome. And it's always wonderful to speak to somebody from uh, the uh, chamber there, so thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you.